Pisces, what's up? Happy holidays. Holy shit, this month for you looks like big opportunities for money, expansion, new jobs, new discussions about work or potential expansion with something related to investing your time, energy, and money. But like, wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I have the High Priest, or no, sorry, the Empress. I've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Like this? This overall energy is really related to your solar, solar plexus also, which is related to creation and expansion and again, opportunity, doing things, making things happen and trusting yourself and your own power. But like overall, you have the universe bringing you a new collaboration or opportunity for expansion. We're still planning. Don't rush it. You can't rush this or you will fuck it up. So just go with the flow. Also, it could be related to children. I have six of cups here. Could be siblings. Could be related to children, siblings, or just neighbors connecting with old people from the past, maybe not maybe now coming together and inventing something new or um, readjusting a plan. But overall, this looks like Queen of Wands energy. That's Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. But now we are in Sagittarius season. So that fire, that expansion, that excitement will support you and your growth um, even more. Also, this is all about luxury. Luxury. So really connecting with yourself and taking time for yourself this month. I know December is really a busy month, but like with COVID, use it as an excuse to say, oh, sorry, I can't go. And then just stay home and like do a face mask or like chill, watch some Netflix, eat well. Some of you for sure focusing on your diet, maybe changing things up, maybe more veggies, etc. But Patience is needed because all of the seeds that you've been planting, they are growing, but there's still a little bit of a delay, okay? We've got the seven of coins here. We've got the moon card here. The moon, this is your card. This is related to Pisces energy. This is also Cancer energy. This is the moon. We have a full moon eclipse that happened yesterday. Please go take my pay what you can workshop. It's a home video. It's under 30 minutes. It will help change your life because this is all about release. And we are letting go of so many old things, energies, belief systems, ideas, old heartbreaks, pain, etc. We're letting it all go and clearing it out. And the workshop will help with that. And we're doing it wise so that we can invite in all of this new abundance and opportunity and expansion. Like this is fucking good, okay? Five of Swords reverse, get out of your own way. Five of Swords reverse, stop blocking your own blessings. The universe is trying to bring you new connections, bring you new love, bring you new work and opportunities for expansion. And you are blocking them because you're still obsessing about an old belief system or you're still dealing with the same old people, the same old behavior, the same old stubborn energy from someone or something. And it's time to let it go and drop it. Okay. Standing in your power this month with the Aries. This is Aries energy. This is the emperor finding more of your power this month. Okay. This is all about taking control. Um, this is about using your resources and maybe sharing them, supporting other people or asking other people, do you mind if I support you with some of my resources, but making sure that they are equally giving back. Okay. It's a trade off. You can't just give, 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 and you don't get anything back. Okay. I think as a Pisces, we love to just give, 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 but like, come on. It's just, it's 2020, like we're almost in 2021. We're done with the free handouts. We're done with no support. It's like, no, if you're not getting equal support or an agreement that you've negotiated and you feel comfortable accepting, then don't accept that kind of energy, behavior, bullshit, because we're fucking done. We're fucking done, okay? Queen of Cups reverse and the devil reverse, we're done. We are done with feeling like we have to prioritize other people, other situations first, and then we are down here. It's like, what? That's not how it works, babe. It's not right, okay? Some of you for sure have been dealing with another Pisces, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a Scorpio, um, but there's an overall energy here of 
other people taking advantage of your kind heart. Um, people, I feel like you've been chained to something. I don't know if that's, some of you for sure are getting divorced. There's also a letter M coming through and something jewelry, like a necklace thing you need to just let go of. Um, but then there's this other thing about old addictions or um, feeling stuck with maybe uh, a heartbreak or a trauma or something that's been holding on to us that we've been deciding to continue to give our power and attention to this and it's been here, it's here, it's here, it's attached, it's stuck, ugh. but now we're finally letting it go because we're noticing it doesn't matter how I've been interacting with this situation, it's not positive. Even if I thought, oh, I'll just help, or oh, this is maybe good for me, or whatever, but it's not good for you, and now you're noticing that this has really been draining you. This kind of thought process, this kind of person, or energy, situation, whatever it is, it's not supporting you, it's not serving you, it's not benefiting you, so now you're noticing, I'm going to let it go. And when you let it go and you drop it, bitch, magician, come on. Like this, come on, this is fucking, Power. This is the magician. This is you can make and manifest whatever you want. You just have to ask your guides on the other side. Let the universe know what you want. Let them know and they will bring it, okay? You have all of the resources. You have all of the tools. You have, you have all of the tools. You're maybe collaborating or working with a Gemini or a Virgo. This is all, sorry, all about new ideas, perspectives, brainstorming, and figuring out how you want to make something happen, and then making it happen. We do have the world here reverse, the world reverse, so maybe you're still feeling something about your life has just been flipped upside down, and we're like, ugh. It looks like, like the image they're showing me now is like, you know, like the snow globe when you shake it and it's everywhere. It's like that still. So it's like we have these new ideas. We know who we need to let go of. We know how we want to change our behavior or our interactions with other people. We know that this situation is not how we want to remain. So we're going to make these changes or we've already begun making these changes. And now we're recognizing, okay, I am so close to starting this new cycle and to really being involved in this new life that I've been trying to create for some time now, but I'm still wrapping up these old ideas or wrapping up these old energies or agreements or contracts or whatever. Because with the world reverse here, the world reverse, that focuses on still wrapping something up. It hasn't completed just yet. So just be patient, okay? Give it time and just focus on both if you can. Try juggling it. I know it's a little bit difficult, especially during holiday season because we're so busy. But like with this seven of wands energy, this seven of wands energy is all about blocking other people's ideas, perspectives, discussions, whatever they think. It's like there's too many cooks in the kitchen. So you just need to block them all and say, fuck off. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my own dream and journey and maybe my small team or reconnecting with other people so that we can figure out how we want to create this reality and start something. But like, I can't listen to all of the opinions. I can't listen to all of the energies flying at me. It's like, you need to protect yourself. You need to guard yourself from this energy. Although with the page of wands reverse, page of wands reverse, you still feel like there's a little bit of a delay with actually jumping off. We feel like we can't. We're also maybe a little bit hesitant or we feel nervous about this new shift or change. Am I really gonna drop these people? Am I really gonna drop the situation? Am I really going to let this go and finally move forward in a new direction? But like, yeah, you are. You've got temperance here. So like we need, you need to take time not going to happen overnight boom no but like nine of wands reverse we know if we continue to invest our time energy money support into this situation and cycle it's just not going to benefit us and you feel like like what they're showing me is like you only have for example 100 um pieces of energy every day and you need some for cooking, eating, sleeping, shitting, etc. right? So let's say left, there's 70 pieces of energy. Okay, well, if you're using 40 of those pieces 
on a situation that doesn't benefit you or doesn't support you, then why the fuck are you doing that? Because left, you only have X amount. And then you're like, what the fuck? So like now I think we're really reviewing how we're spending our time, how we're spending our energy, how we're spending our money. On what? On who? And why? What's the reason behind it? Do you feel obligated to do that? Do you feel um, attached? Do you feel addicted to this person or this cycle? It's like Four of Swords is saying back up, okay? You need to back up. You need to slow down because you don't have all the information. You don't have all of the um, pieces to the puzzle just yet. So you can't see the full picture. So when you think, oh, it's just, you know, a little bit of time or a little bit of energy doing this thing or interacting with this person that I know I should leave, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyways because I'm bored or because I don't have, you know, a proper vision yet with all of the answers. Well, like your four of swords is saying you're not seeing everything anyways. So like if you think that just spending a little bit of time on this situation is fine, it's really doing more damage than you think. So like, I think, especially Queen of Swords Reverse, we need to draw boundaries. We need to establish better boundaries. Um, maybe stop communicating with some people or you've noticed other people don't wanna communicate with you. Just accept that and move forward because like you have a huge renewal, bitch. And we're letting go of so much lack mindset. You're letting go of this like, I'm sick or what was me or oh lack lack mindset or like oh it's just like never gets better and never improved like that kind of idea you're letting go of because it doesn't serve you you thinking every day that this is not going to get better it's not helping the situation and now you're going to notice that your mind is creating or at least helping support this reality so letting that go and changing your focus on what is positive? What is working for you? These new expansions, these new ideas and opportunities and people and connections, etc. That is a way better direction for you to move in because this old shit is not supporting you. This is like Phoenix from the ashes, okay? That is like Phoenix, uh, Phoenix from the ashes. So it's like we die and then we are born again. So make sure you take that full moon Eclipse workshop, I will help you let go of all this bullshit, okay? We've also got Six of Swords and the Star finally moving forward, finally letting go. This is better health, better focus on mental health, better um, experience for yourself and not feeling the need to obsess about old things or old people or places or behaviors or whatever from the past that we've been obsessing about. It's like, just let it go. It's not serving you. It doesn't make sense. And yeah, 10 of cups reverse, king of cups reverse, Jesus, 10 of swords reverse. It's like, this is a long time coming. Maybe you've been dealing with these people or situations for over 10 years, maybe less, that's fine. But some of you for sure, 20 years, and there's a letter L coming through and it's like, let it go. With this four of swords or four of coins reverse and this high priestess reverse, it's like, you're not trusting yourself enough. You're not trusting the process enough. And you need to let go because the four of coins reverse is talking about old structures, ideas, foundations that we've established that don't support us now. It's amazing. Before they supported you, before it was a good advantage for yourself. But now you're like, this wall that I set up for safety and protection has now become like a gate that's holding me back and I can't progress. So like you need to tear down these old walls. You need to tear down these old structures. They're not supporting you. But... We're scared because we don't know what it looks like in the future. It's like, you have to trust. And the universe wants to see that you trust them. So when you say, okay, I'm fucking done with this bullshit, with these people, with these places, I'm letting it go. Even this kind of thought process or this behavior, I'm letting it go. Four of cups reverse. I'm no longer four of cups reverse. I'm not focusing my energy or emotions on that situation. I'm deciding to leave and to give myself more freedom. Then the universe will say, Amazing job, bitch. Here you go. All of the abundance, everything you need, I'm going to give you now. So pay attention this month, okay? Figure out where you don't need to be spending your time, energy, money. Figure out how to change it. Also, these are free, free readings. So please tag your friends below. Leave a comment about if this resonated or not. Um, yeah, 
and share it on your Instagram if you want to win a personal reading. Okay, I love you. Go take the workshop.